Hello, beta testers. <laughs> Trying my best to package this for outsiders, Zenless Zone Zero is the latest MiHoYo gacha slop that people would need to be out of their minds to even consider, especially if they've already played Honkai Impact, Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, or worse, all of them. A gacha game is typically free, but you pull or roll like a dice for new characters by paying for a chance, not a guarantee, at potentially receiving a character that you're trying to get out of a pool of characters, so there's a big chance that you might not, by gambling. That's what it is, by definition. An argument can be made that this is potentially the latest evolution or incarnation of the loot box. This typically works by applying the right bait. With a girl like this, no one needed to worry about profit. But this was the thought process before, of course, her assets were nerfed. MiHoYo has a history of this, but it doesn't make this any less shocking. As you would imagine, reducing the breast size and removing feminine animations has caused an uproar and backlash within the community, to the point where ZZZ's tweets are inundated with comments imploring they either revert the changes or finally create a fucking China version and then a global version so this, this nonsense doesn't have to keep clashing with your customers. How ironic that ZZZ uh, is this game's acronym when flattening women and ESGing them up has put gamers to sleep. If you're new, like and subscribe and laugh at the failures that gaming's been forcing with me. On Twitter, Zenless Zero Bitches directs people to its Reddit community, so here's what that looked like the last time I checked it out, highlighted for your ease of uh, reading here. I seriously want you to comment or correct me as well, but these reductions certainly will cost the game hype, and that will cost the game money. And I can proudly say, censorship will stop me from even trying this nonsense because Goddess of Victory's developer Shift Up is going to be breaking onto the scene with the help of Sony for distribution with Stellar Blade. And as I've said on Twitter, I believe Eve to be the new Lara Croft, as long as they don't ruin her. Nicole could have been that. That was ZZZ's mascot. But I guess you're a fool, Hoyoverse. I know you make a lot of money, but isn't making all the money the name of the game? And with live services, surely you don't want to give your competition an opportunity to slide on in and steal this money from you. <sighs> By the way, the furry characters are safe because we wouldn't want to upset people cheering for bear sex in a fucking video game. That's just fun in games. It's a joke. Waka waka. He's shapeshifting, which I don't see as different from an older character taking a young person's form because neither do the alphabet people with the VTubers that they use to get kids to actually like them. And it'd be great if it just stopped there, but it always seems to go further. And we're the villains for talking about it. I'm totally fine being considered crazy for not being a fan of behavior-forcing regimes and fart-huffing psychopaths running studios full of fat, ugly bitches jealous of what other girls work hard to maintain and some naturally have. Your new definitions of beauty are rejected and imposing them on digital characters created from scratch supposes people will tolerate and pay for them. Bizarre. If hemorrhaging profits like a diverse Marvel movie were of no concern, the inclusion cult would just be mocking. But it's clear they've moved to silencing discussion surrounding video games of all things. How weak and incapable of standing up to scrutiny your arguments must be. My free consultation to studios should be illuminating because I sacrifice to voice what I believe most people might just stop consuming without a word, and you have no idea. Not that most of us were cuckoo for gacha games anyway. Lately, entities have been defending Scott Pilgrim being removed from the show His Name Is On, 
and people not watching makes them immature bigots. <laughs> I'm sorry we like dinosaurs in our Jurassic Park. It's sarcasm. I'm not sorry. If I pay for a cheeseburger, I want cheese on that bitch. You can jump to extremes, implying that I demand that it tastes exactly like every other cheeseburger I've ever had. <laughs> but that's what you are. Disingenuous. The word, the defined definition exists for people like you. And the truth is, expecting cheese on a cheeseburger is not outlandish. Defending technicalities? <laughs> Gee, the rest of the video could just be sarcasm too. Should I be sorry for the non-consensual grifts that I'm ruining that you're cheerleading for? I'm not sorry that you're unable to recognize that others have a choice. You forgot, but since I know that they're hypocrites, it's easy to tell them to just imagine that one of their fellow pronoun justice warriors said it, and then it'll be acceptable, right? Beta tester. Sometimes it's not about what you say, it's about how you say it. I applaud and encourage people exercising their right to be vocal regardless of what side you are on, because I'm not pro-censorship. That's y'all side, I be threatened by these words, but they're not sticks, they're not stones, the attention I command with what should be throwaway comments. Show how easy it is to get in the heads of these vulnerable people perpetually offended by difference. Diving in front of harmless criticism of corporations. Like this video and subscribe to convince me I'm not the last straight man on the internet. We're willing to exercise restraint. Yeah, it's rough out here. And it's been that way for a while and we don't always know where the next bit's gonna come from. But we're willing to keep that roughness to ourselves. We're resisting the easy temptation to take advantage of everyone and everything for personal gain because we know an eye for an eye and the world goes blind. All we'd like is for our entertainment to stop being so politicized that it's compromised. By baby obsessed weirdos desperately trying to redefine the, the entire dictionary? Exercise some goddamn restraint, activists. Seek momentary reason. Realize that if you push hard enough, of course there will be pushback. Hoyo seemed to understand that if you build it, we will Coom. But I know, mi hoyo, money is your master. So China decides what is and isn't okay. Sweet baby lovers, or whatever the hell their name is, join the activist games journalist bandwagoning, trying to woke up Square Enix. Because, you know, we need more dustborns, we need more forespokens. Remember that clip from Digital Foundry of Alex having a problem with Eve? <laughs> Big jiggly something or another's. So offended by Project Eve's protagonist. Because like the, with the camera angles chosen, it just felt like this game seems like a, a game that came out in like 002 in terms of its, you know, like character design. Okay, pretty women are dated according to this it's guy. Like a bit old and, and not flattering, I don't think, for a modern audience. Wow, for a modern audience. In comparison to something like Forspoken, which has, you know, uh, I mean, yes, it has a much more realistic looking character designs. Uh, it's not these hyper proportioned uh, something or another's. But White boy saw a nice ass and said hyper proportioned something or another's. Expect them with respect to their pronouns to be hypercritical of the performance because, as Hogwarts Legacy showed you, unbiased coverage cannot exist when cucks have never spent a minute being professional. Digital Foundry of Eurogamer are the same publication that were trying and failing to jumpstart a boycott for Final Fantasy because their white-ass studio believes that the Japanese game wasn't diverse enough for them. The period piece game? Vital I guess, I'll be saving money, and I'll be trying my best to inform, and when you silence me, there will be more. And if you cut off that head, more will take its place as well. Western gaming's gonna have a modern-day Disney phase, so that's fucking great! 
and we'll play the mobile games, I guess? We'll play the Korean games? If we decide to play games at all, people stopped going to the movies when you did this. And we're willing to wait for you to catch up when the profits, or lack thereof, make you look up and start asking questions. A final warning to the radical alphabet cult from a humble messenger. I'm not on any side but the side of quality and art. The more you go after Rowling, the more she embraces and adorns herself with the armor, the turf armor. If you paradoxically expect straight men to be ashamed of the natural urges we're born with, the reason that there are 8 billion people on the fucking planet, you'll continue to ostracize yourself with decidedly subhuman behavior. Find a wealthy person and understand how offensive stupidity is to them. They're not smart, but they pay people to be smart for them. A free gift might be something you can tolerate as is, but I'm afraid little cads confused about what label they're going to choose for themselves today do not decide our standard as it pertains to what we pay for. The same way why developers on Twitter don't decide the universal standards for games. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Excuse the heterosexuality. I'm sorry it like slips out sometimes, huh? The truth is, we'd actually respect you if you were just trolling for chaos. But it's worse. You're just... Whatever mold they decide for you to be, speaking on behalf of the beta testers, most of us at the very least keep it interesting for our handlers and observers at three-letter agencies, but you don't have to wonder if I actually love jiggly, big, beautiful, biofem breasts plus ultra, because we honest out here, we're real. We all love a good femme fatale, and gaming is long overdue. It would have been you, Zenless, but if you keep making budget cuts, well, you can step aside for potential competition. And that could even be you, beta tester. Flex those indie dev muscles and get to work. I'd gladly be a voice in your project if it's coming along. Um, the Kyle channel would never condone outright theft or plagiarism, but if you see an idea and think, oh, I could zhuzh that up and throw some titties on it, you know it'll sell more. Thank you for the likes, comments, and support, and a special thanks to those of you patronizing. If I don't see you before the end of the year, happy Christmas, Harry, and a wonderful new year. I hope you get the opportunity to decompress, and I'll be thinking about your chest. Yeah. It's it's between that one and uh I'll see you guys next time. Young out. <laughs> <laughs>